This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm going to be testing to see how well do it yourself templates may work in the Boogie Board Blackboard. For example, if a teacher or a parent were to print out a worksheet, how well would this work in place of the included template? Now, the Boogie Board comes with two sheets that are double sided. This template has a weekly schedule and a to do list. The other side is just plain lines. Uh, the second sheet is what I have included in here. It's dot grid on one side, which is the one my daughter likes to use when she's doing math problems. I prefer just the plain black template, like an actual blackboard. Now the templates just slide in, and it's got two rails here on the side and a rail here on the bottom that the template slides into. And I've got a piece of tape here on the top to keep it from sliding out. I'm just gonna pull this one out. Now the templates have like a glossy plasticky coating. So that tape you can take on and off. And that works nicely to hold it in place. Let's see. I'm gonna try to slide this in. And it looks like, let me see. A, a letter size sheet of paper, it appears, is just, just a little bit too wide. So instead of sliding it in to the to both of these rails. I'm going to leave it out of this one. Let's see. Lengthwise it's okay. It's just a little bit too wide. I'm going to see if I can slide the template in on top of it. Yeah. I'm going to use my fingernail to kind of whip, guide it in there. Okay. So that works. But you see just how wide it is. It's like around a millimeter too wide. But if you use the included template to hold it in, that may not be a problem. Okay. Now, I see, let me erase this. The included templates are black with white printing, and when you try to put a printed page in here that is white with black print, you see the screen of the boogie board is tinted pretty dark. Let's see what that looks like when I zoom in. You know, it's readable, but it's pretty dark. Let me see if I can focus that a little better. If that's just what it looks like. Yeah, that's about as good as it, as good as it's going to get. So, let's see. 1 plus 15 is 16, 19, minus negative 2, turns into 19 plus 2 is 21. So you see it's usable, it's just not ideal. Um, you know, you make the call. It, this boogie board has worked great for my daughter. I use it to show her how to do problems if she has questions on her homework. She uses it to practice doing problems. So it has worked great for that. But it's a little disappointing because when I first saw this and saw how it had the templates that slid in and out, printing out my own templates was the first thing that came to mind. But um, you'll just have to make the call. Maybe... Um, for younger students, if you're printing out something that's a, a larger print, would make it easier to see, like this right here, the adding and subtracting integers is, you know, that's, that's pretty easy to read. So if you were printing out maybe 10 addition and subtraction problems for a little first or second grader, that would be a, a better case. But, you know, smaller printing like this it starts to become a, a little bit more difficult to see. But um, I highly recommend this for older students 
you know, to do practice problems or uh, doing a rough draft for a, a, um, an essay or an outline for an essay, a pre-writing activity, mind mapping or something like that before they start writing an actual essay. Um, my daughter and I were enjoying uh, using the boogie board blackboard. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.